May God bless all mothers, grandmothers, stepmothers, adoptive and foster mothers, grieving mothers, and all the mothers in our lives. St. Bartholomew's is grateful to you and to all mothers who have gone before us into the embrace of God. It's evident that becoming a mother changes everything. What had been an individual or a couple now becomes a family. When parents create space for new life, the wonder and responsibilities that follow are staggering. A mother's body makes all kinds of adjustments. The focus of the parents shifts from personal goals and dreams to the needs and nurture of this fragile, dependent, and beautiful creature. Providing for a family rather than oneself becomes a way of life. Being a parent changes everything. There's no going back. I've been wondering what mothers teach us as we live through the global pandemic. Then Sister Pauline pointed me toward Richard Rohr, who writes, Mothers are characterized by attentive love. They have to keep listening and adjusting to the needs of the child. Our lives irrevocably changed this year. We're still in quarantine, and the world is, in some sense, on pause. This gives us an opportunity to listen to the life we have been living and to what adjustments are needed as we give birth to what is next. Before the state of California opens up again, we have a moment to consider. Do we want to continue as before? Or do we want to make a fundamental shift? St. Ignatius suggests a prayer form that might help us here. It begins by becoming aware of God's presence in this moment. How is God here with us? as our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in distress, as a hunger for the Eucharist, absent, as an absence we long for and cannot find. Then the prayer asks us, for what am I most grateful? For the family, whether those we sheltered with, or those we contacted on Zoom. For the natural world that has flourished while we stayed home. For the awareness that the entire globe is connected and vulnerable. For the people willing to lay down their lives for the common good. After asking, for what am I most grateful? The prayer continues. For what am I least grateful? The shock of isolation? The stress of having no income? The grief of a loved one's illness or death? Now, as I relive these past weeks, and ask those two questions. What emotions come up? Anxiety? Regret? Frustration? Hope? Amazement? Compassion? I choose one experience of the pandemic so far and bring it to God in prayer. There's something in that experience that I need to listen to. Then I look to the future, asking God for guidance to
to make the most of what I have learned. As we all move ahead now, we thank our mothers who knew that all growth is about changing and adjusting to what is needed at the moment. May the love that we received from you, our mothers, spread more quickly than any virus could. 